Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. We're not going to get into the amazing fight. Uh, Navarrete Wilson fight. I wasn't prepared to do it. I wasn't prepared for that to be a good fight. We're going to do that one tomorrow. Uh, for today, we're going to get into Edgar Berlanga, um, who is meeting with all of the majors. And I'm just confused on why anyone wants to sign Edgar Berlanga. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds uh, go to autism research and recovery. All right, y'all. <clears throat> let's get into today's show. Um, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's get into today's show. Edgar Malanga um, is meeting with what well, he split with top rank. Uh, obviously, apparently, it, w- it was amicable. Um, top rank was done with him, and he was still a top rank. Um, I don't really understand that, first of all, because top rank made him a star. Edgar Blank is not that good. They, they had people thinking he was going to beat Canelo, right? Like, that's what they did with him. He was a guy that got a bunch of first round knockouts in a row, just saw his career, he was knocking everyone out in the first round. He's trained by Andre Rozier, he's no longer trained by Andre Rozier, right? Um, and they kept building and building and hyping this guy as if he was something more special. Um, and we've seen now in his last, you know, going on the last year now, um, I mean, he's really nothing more special. Um, what was his last first round knockout? Ulysses Sierra back in, uh, 12, uh, 2020. Um, then from 2021 20, on, Devon Nicholson, uh, Marcelo Esteban, I don't even know who that guy is, Steve Rawls. And Alexis Angulo, they've all gone. Ten, they've all gone ten rounds. Um, he got dropped by the guy uh, Coseras. Is that his name? Uh, in a fight, he may have lost, but very, very close. Uh, but you know, that's four straight unanimous decisions. Now, look, UD is fine, right? But if you look at the quality of these names, th- th- these are not premier fighters. Rolls fought a premier guy in Triple G, got blown out in, what, two rounds? Uh, Devon Nicholson gets blown out uh, by everyone. He's been stopped twice. Um, well, he did just go the distance with Andre, so I'll give him that. Uh, but he's been stopped by Jesse Hart. Um, and he was stopped early in his career. Um, all right. Uh, okay. He got stopped by Jesse Hart. He got a draw with Emmanuel Lee. Maybe uh, maybe I'm being a little hard on, on, on Demond Nicholson. Um, but if Belanger's the monster, then maybe he should be stopping these guys, right? Um, I don't understand the demand and the want and the interest in Edgar Belanga, right? Top rank hyped him up. They fed him a top rank diet. He ate the diet until he couldn't eat anymore. And now he gets, you know, unanimous decisions one after another. He's not that guy. He's not going to be a world champion unless they can vacate one and really hand it to him. I think his power is overrated, believe it or not. Um, it, it, he, he, what is he? he? He's a boxer puncher? Is that how you would describe him? Is he a pure pressure? Like, what is he? What's his identity? Um, he's fundamentally flawed. He's easy to hit. He gets hit way too much. There's just not a whole lot to like about Edgar Berlanger. Other than he got a bunch of first round knockouts to start his career, and, and now we're gonna move on. You know, we're gonna go take a look at Belanga, and he's meeting with top rank. Oh, I'm sorry, he's meeting with the other majors. He's meeting with PBC. He's meeting with Golden Boy, and he's meeting with Matro. Why though, right? Like, when did Edgar Belanga become the prettiest girl in school? When did he become cheer captain? Where all of a sudden all the popular guys want to date him? They all want to take him to the dance. Like, when did he become the prettiest girl in school that every single one of uh, the popular kids now want to take him to the dance? 
I don't understand. He's not that good. Like, what is Eddie Hearn plan for him? What is Oscar's plan for him? Right, he's got a plan. Um, he, he wants to fight Spike O'Sullivan next. Like, it, it's just I don't. Can someone please explain to me the intrigue in Edgar Belanga now that his knockout streak is well over, well over, right? Um, Eddie Hart wants to quickly build Edgar Belanga towards Canelo Alvarez. That's what Boxing News is reporting. Really? How? Who? What? Um, you know, he, I, he wants to fight um, Mugia. Mugia would beat him, and I'm not the biggest Mugia guy, right? But but Mugia would beat him. Really, right? I mean, I, would, can someone tell me? But like, he's got a three fight plan. O'Sullivan, Mongia, and Canelo. Oh, 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 Ryder. Okay. It's actually Ryder or O'Sullivan. John Ryder beats him. He's not good. I, I, I don't I don't I don't understand this at all. Uh Mongia definitely beats him. So he should go O'Sullivan first, because he'll beat Spike O'Sullivan. And then fight Mongia. O'Sullivan is so small. O'Sullivan's, you know, he's fought at 60. He's at 54. Sullivan's a little guy. Um, Mungia, and then Canelo? I, really? Guys, help me out here. What, tell me what about Edgar Berlanger that you like? What, what about him, Eddie Hearn, Oscar, whoever thinks he's good, what about him do you think is quite intriguing? Like, what do you see in him that makes you think a Canelo fight would at all be interesting or competitive? I can promise you he ain't beating John Ryder or Jaime Munguia. So he ain't getting to that Canelo fight if this is his plan. But who is he to lay out a three-fight plan? Like, and, and why would anyone listen to him? He's not any good. This is the biggest hype job. This is the most manufactured fighter. I've seen in quite some time. Like, I, 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 you know, I talk about Joey Spencer, Vito Malnicki being manufactured. None of them are manufactured like this guy. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts and comments below. I mean, I, Canelo? He's going to fight Canelo. That's what we're doing now. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, twice a day. Uh, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing videos. And remember, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, and uh, it is February 4th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.